day 170. Man, I just woke my ass up just in time for the sunrise. Oh, I slept in. I must have needed it because I slept like dead. Whew, Water Mountain's got to be so windy. Uh, at least it's not terribly cold. Well, I'm not out in the full force of the wind yet. I'm still hiding behind these little baby trees. Ooh, yeah, let's go catch ourselves a sunrise. I'm going to plot the day out and see where it leads. Throne, but it'll definitely work. Well, the sunrise wasn't very photogenic, but it was quite beautiful to watch. It was like a came up looking like a red mushroom cloud for a while, slowly turned into a nice red ball, it had stripes of the clouds through it. It looked like a hot Jupiter. Oh, really nice to watch. The wind kind of put a damper on it because even though it's not cold just that wind blasting you makes you cold after a while but now I'm hiding back in my tent I'll make some coffee and some oatmeal and then begin my day my spine is hurting me today though man I miss my chiropractor Whew. okay let's get to it yeah I'm in lazy mode today it took me two hours to get ready this is my bitchin' campsite for the night, though. It's nice. It's right on the edge of their little protected forest thing, but obviously it's well used because there's little campsites everywhere. Didn't build a fire, though. Even though there was this nice piece of metal garbage. Come on, check this out. Like this thing would have made an awesome windscreen. I have no idea how something that big gets out into the woods like this. But yeah, that was asking to be used. I wish that was at another campsite because that thing would make an awesome heat reflector. But there was no fire here already, so I'm not going to make one. Okay, let's wander our ass towards, I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> I'd say north, but I've been headed south for the past few days. Totally throwing me off. The sun's on the wrong side of the sky. Ah. <sighs> So I'm almost, I'm almost there, man. Getting really close. I was looking through the book today. Not really plotting out my course, just seeing if there was water. And I only have a few pages left of the map. It's, it's getting almost there. That means reality's creeping in. You know, what am I gonna do after this? All that stuff. I don't know. Try not to stress on it, but the closer I get to the end, the more, the more real that is. Uh, I don't want to go back to the other world. I didn't fit in before. Totally not going to fit in now. Uh, where is my place in the world? I was supposed to figure that out while I was out here. I haven't had any great epiphanies or anything. I mean, I still got time, but... I don't know if there's a great epiphany to be had. Let's get to it. See what the day, see what the day holds. Pretty sure that's the next mountain in my way hill for a good bit I have to guess and then back up hill and back up and over that that one's got a nice bald on top too I don't know how far it is away it's always hard to tell with the AT oh, damn it, gorgeous now Washington back there mocking me with its beautiful clear day presidentials are pretty badass I climbed all those yes I did But yeah, that'll teach me because that was the hardest climb I've done on the entire trip. I'm still a little sore from that. Right. Ooh, downhill I go. Well, it's the mountain I was on this morning to watch sunrise. So I've made a little bit of distance, but it is just so slow going. This is just not nearly as much fun as hiking is. Just climbing up a mountain to climb down it, you get a little bit of view at the top of a boulder maybe and then back down and even the views themselves I mean they are nice but for the work it takes to get up to them yeah I can't wait to get out of the rocks I don't know if that's ever gonna happen though is it rocks all the way up there I hear the hundred mile wilderness is easy ish it looks flat on the map but you know is it rocks the whole way I don't know time will tell 
I think this is a prime example. That's the mountain I was on this morning. That's the one I'm headed to. But, you know, I gotta go down this stupid cliff. And it goes way down. You know, and yeah, it's a pretty good view and all that, but just the work required to get to it. But hell, at least it's a beautiful day, huh? You see all them little red trees popping out all over the place. Time is ticking, man, time is ticking. The presidentials are still so close. I hiked out of there yesterday morning. Somewhere from over there. Still so close. I'm not making good time at all. Made it to the top of that mountain. Now I got these little hills in my way. I'm assuming that junk is next. But now, what do I know? What do I know? But at least these two hills look pretty easy. Don't know which way I'm going though. I know I've got to turn around sometime soon because I am headed south right now and that's just unnatural. So it's got to turn around and head north again, right? Maine's north of me. At least that's the way I see it on the map. Just don't know when it happens. Well, this looks like a nice spot to take a break. All sheltered from the wind. A little bit of a view peeking out, but plenty of sunshine most importantly. Ah. It's only cold in the wind. Here it's actually nice and warm. I've stripped off all my base layers. It's only when you get above the tree line. See, so I'm gonna take a little break here and then continue down the trail. I have to assume this is my next mountain. Look at all those big, huge boulders sticking out of the place, cliff faces. I'm assuming I'm gonna come up and over, probably up and maybe over because there's a mountain after that. But I don't know. Okay, looks like a long way down. And as usual, this stuff is not as easy as I make it look. It is like way down, it's slippery, it's scary. I'm gonna bust my ass, man. I just got that feeling. I'm holding on to trees on the way down. I can tell that's how everybody else is getting down. But how do we get down when there's not trees? Things aren't gonna last forever. We're doing a little bit of damage to them every time we grab onto them and use them to lower ourselves to the next level. And there is so much more down to go. It's gonna be a long day. Nothing but wet, slick, angular rocks all the way down all damn day. Ah, oh, this is stressful, man. I do not want to get hurt this close to the end. Ah. Uh, so I'm going all slow and super careful, but that takes a lot out of you all at the same time. But what choice do I have? Push on, man. Push on. This is one of the pay shelters. It's 10 bucks to sleep here. Let's see what makes it so special. Oh. Fancy, it's even got a chair. What? See? That's worth 10 bucks. And a freaking window? Oh, man. I mean, it does have these nice little partial walls. That, that does make it a little cooler than a lot of shelters. But no, not worth no 10 bucks. These mountains are rough. They're kicking my ass. All right, so if I get up and over this next one, there's a hostel at the bottom that's supposed to have a gourmet breakfast. We all know I love breakfast. And it's only like 35 bucks or something for you know the night laundry shower, blah, blah, blah. And it's right on the trail. But I gotta go up this big mountain and the downside looks so steep for a good solid five miles. I don't know if I can make it there before sundown, but that's my goal. If not, there's a free shelter down here, so I'll just stay at that. And then maybe hit that hostel up the day after. But I'd like to hit it tonight, so I don't have to you know, waste any more time. I don't necessarily want to zero anywhere, but if I don't hit it tonight, when I hit it tomorrow, it'll probably be pretty early in the day. So, you know, to get that gourmet breakfast, I'd have to stay the night. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's do some miles, man. Let's do some miles. Okay, so that's the next mountain in my way. Ugh. 
I don't know if it follows along that ridge and goes down, but I know after this severe up, there's a lot of down, five miles of down. So yeah, probably over these humps. And then down into the gorge down there. Whew, it's asking a lot. Stupid rocks, stupid gravity, all holding me back. It has just been walking on planks for a while, which I am totally thankful for. I think I'm coming down with something. I'm just weak, runny nose. Maybe we got fever. That's why I feel so cold all the time. Ah, but I got no energy. All day long, actually the past few days. But I'm a fake it till you make it kind of guy, so I've just been trying to push through it. But I know this is about to drop off really soon. There was like a nice flat spot and then boom, it goes down. And I somehow doubt I'm gonna be able to do the six miles into town to stay at that hostel. I'm hoping I got the energy for it, but if not, there's a shelter and another four. I'll just crash there. At least it's a free one. There's been a lot of this today where it is flat and it might be nice. No, no, Vermont has come back to haunt me. They're still trying to get my shoes muddy. But I see too many ways to skip around this. You will not succeed. Even though my socks are really dirty right now. Well, not really dirty. I washed them like three or four days ago. Four days. Yeah, four days ago. So in a hiker's world, that's not quite dirty yet. But so if they do get muddy, no big loss. So far, the downhill isn't as bad as I thought. I mean, you know, it's steep, but it's all stairs. At least for the, you know, last mile or so. So at least there's that. You know, getting closer in. I think I can make it to town, man. Or to that, that hostel. I think I can. But the sun's going down because it's going down on the other side of the mountain. So it's like premature getting late and prematurely getting dark. Okay. It's hurting the knees. Getting old, man. All right, back to it. Stop whining. Oh my god. It turned into hiking again. Oh, I can walk without looking at my feet. Oh, I miss these days. Ah, the good old days. For all the rock climbing and mountain climbing, bouldering, sheer cliffs, waterfall climbing or descending. Just the good old walk. I miss it. So I'm pretty pleased, man. Trail is nice. It's still going on all trailish, you know, how a trail is supposed to be. Some rocks, some roots, but, you know, Something walkable, not something I have to climb. So, with this in mind, I might be, just be able to make it to that hostel. The words gourmet breakfast have really been spurring me on. But that means I probably still have like three more miles. It's like six o'clock now. I'm not sure how late they'll take me, but I believe that's where I'm showing up tonight. So, I mean, hell, if they don't let me in, I'm going to sleep on their porch and try to squeeze in for breakfast like I did at that other place. Yeah, I know it's wrong and whatnot, boo-hoo, but I'd still do it anyway if I had a chance. At least I'm honest about being dishonest. So, almost to town. Ran into Mowgli and Dirty Duck again, so, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go tear that place up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're in for it. They're in Will for the it. Chinese buffet be open? Oh, that's very important, isn't it? Yeah. That's my main goal. Chinese buffet and gourmet breakfast. Oh, oh, yeah. Tonight will be a good night. Yes. Throwing some whiskey in the mix. I did see a liquor store. Greetings, Nightcrawler here. First off, let me thank you so much for your support. I had no idea when I started this channel that anybody would watch, given that there's so many less offensive people out there filming their through hikes. But your positive comments, they got me through many a dark time, and I thank you so much for that. Now that I'm back in the other world, I want nothing more than to get out to the PCT but I can't do that without your help. So I've just, I've started what's called a Patreon account. There's a link in the description below. And if just half of my subscribers donated a dollar or two a month, that would easily enable me to get out to the PCT. I also need some new gear though. So I put a link to my Amazon wish list in there and maybe other links in the future as well. You know, I'm gonna need things like new puffy, warm clothes, an ice axe, spikes for my shoes, maybe a real camera so that I can film more and better footage. So if you've enjoyed my AT through hikes video so far, please donate a little bit so that I can continue to entertain you with my antics. I hope to see you on the PCT next year.